breaking, Rand Paul just stabbed Trump in the back with this one statement. Fresh off President Trump signing of a $110 billion defense deal with Saudi Arabia, Senator Rand Paul, Republican of Kentucky, has taken to the media to blast the landmark agreement. Selling military weapons to questionable allies is not in our national security interest, he said in a Breitbart news op-ed Wednesday. At some point, the United States must stop and realize that we are fueling an arms race in the Middle East. Paul continued by adding that President Trump's new travesty must be stopped, but not only will he voice his dissension, he plans to use our president's trip overseas as the perfect time to get what he wants. In the next few weeks, I, along with a bipartisan group of senators, will force a vote disapproving of this arms sale to Saudi Arabia. Let's hope the Senate will have the sense to stop this travesty. Unfortunately for Paul, the American people will not simply take the Senator's word on who should be considered bipartisan, especially when Paul has proven to have allied trepidation in past dealings with the Middle East. Last September, the Senate handily rejected a similar move from Paul to halt a $1.15 billion arms sale between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia while President Trump marked it as a crowning achievement. That was a tremendous day, Trump said, of the deal, according to a pool report. Hundreds of billions of dollars in, of investments into the United States and jobs, jobs, jobs. It's time for the voice of American voters to help silence these unwarranted political roadblocks. President Trump is clearly trying to grow our presence and aid worldwide. And detractors trying to blur party lines will only slow our country's progress. Let's take a quick listen. Why do you want to block this weapon sale? The Constitution gave the power to initiate or declare war to Congress. We are now at war in Yemen, in a way. We are refueling Saudi, Ara Saudi Arabian bombers in the air, and we are picking their targets. That sounds to me like we're involved in a war, and yet no one has consulted Congress or asked our permission. So the vote tomorrow, in a way, is a vote on whether or not we should be at war with Saudi Arabia in Yemen. But it's also a vote on whether we should continue to sell them arms. President Obama has sold more arms to Saudi Arabia than all the rest of the presidents combined. He sold $100 billion worth of arms to them. So on the one hand, President Obama has released money to Iran to buy weapons, and on the other hand, he's giving money to Saudi Arabia. To me, it sounds like an arms race where we're funding both sides of every, every skirmish over there, and in the ensuing chaos, Saudi Arabia does nothing to help. I mean, are they taking any refugees from Yemen? Are they taking any refugees from Syria? No, they stir up the fight on both sides, their money and their weapons flow in, and then they look the other way at the humanitarian nightmare that is Yemen and Syria. All right, Senator Rand Paul, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.